First of all, we have no capitalist societies and nothing approximating what a capitalist society is supposed to be. What we actually have is many varieties of state capitalism that included the old Soviet Union, included Maoist China, includes uh, the Gulf dictatorships, includes the United States, just different varieties of a mix of state intervention and uh, a reliance on the private sector. Capitalism is a kind of um, supra ideological structure. It introduces us to market exchange. It introduces us to profit and profit maximization. Um, it introduces us to uh, principles of commodification. So I don't think that um, economics explains capitalism. I, th I think it's much more likely that capitalism determines uh, what economic concepts are, are favored, uh, how they are understood, and ultimately how they are applied. Capitalism is what capitalism is, but the form that we've been using has hit the buffers. What we now need to do is get off a kind of a linear process model into a much more circular model, and then work at different scales of deployment at firms, at industries, at households, to make that work and become more sustainable. So capitalism is always portrayed as something where just smarter people, better skilled people, just people with a better entrepreneurial spirit can just, you know, advance and do the right thing. And somehow everybody benefits because, you know, all ship rise together, et cetera, et cetera. And I would say capitalism is a market economy on legal steroids. That is some people get legal protections for their assets that give them a comparative advantage over others. I would, define capitalism uh, in fairly unremarkable terms. Capitalism nowadays is really the pursuit of wealth in monetary terms, and it's the pursuit of maximal free marketism. Um, and I do not think that that is ideal for society and for civilization in the long run. Uh, it's very short-term focused, very much focused on on monetary issues, and this is really only one piece of value that we should be thinking about. Um, and that's also my definition of capitalism, like a very informal, um, not very well explained definition, which is basically, um, if anything brings you pleasure, it's going to probably have a price tag on it. Like that's my definition of what capitalism is right now. Capitalism is many things because if, if we're thinking of it as an ideology or as a like a system, it's it's an yeah, it's both an economic structure as well as an ideological paradigm with the base assumption that people want to maximize profit for themselves and that economic activity is separate from the state. Economics or the economy is a human construct and the subsystems within it are a human construct. The way we can, can make those human, those constructs is up to us at the end of the day, within limits, because if you try to do something that you know, people are gonna bend the rules or can't follow or impossible, they aren't gonna do. If we talk about redefining capitalism, then it would have to bring into, uh, into play questions like what is the place of capitalism or economics within broader social systems, within the broader values of society. You, know? you can imagine measures that bring financial capitalism back down to a, a fraction of what it currently is. Yeah? You could imagine measures that tackle the, the monopoly of global corporations. You can imagine a lot of measures that bring capitalism back into more into accord with its relationship with democracy, but it would still be capitalism. Yeah. The only real hope I've got for economics is other disciplines such as engineering, physics, chemistry, biology, meteorology, um, because they've got the technical skills necessary. Realising what an appallingly bad job the economists have done are coming in and taking over the field from them without the ideological baggage that the economists mainly often unknowingly bring to the party. Thank you.